Welcome to the Windows Server 23 course and today it is I'm going to show you how to access the website hosting in IIS the Internet Information Services on Windows Server by using the IP address Okay, so now let's get started and this is my Windows Server and current version I'm using is Windows Server 2016 Data Center Okay and here i will open the internet information services i we have some way click on start button here and in, you tie in in internet internet information if you didn't see any result here you can try another way click, click on start button and you open the window administrative tool so here it has internet information services okay click on this one or you can open the window run and type in ins m z r okay enter cool we will open the internet information services manager okay i open this one yeah and for example, I'm going to use the default website here for testing. Okay. And I will open the web browser. And I will type in the URL in local hot. Yeah. So here, after you install the Internet Information Services successfully on your Windows PC, when you type in the local host on your web browser, it will display the default page of the Internet Information Services. Okay, cool. So now here, I will back to the Internet Information Services Manager. And in the default website, I right click on this one and edit binding. Okay. You can click on edit here. Type in, you click on IP address and assign it to the IP of this server. Okay, so here to make sure this IP address is my IP address of this server, I will check it. I will open the window run and type in CMD. Okay, and I will enter the command line IP config. Enter. Yeah, so here you take a look into the IPv4 address. Yeah. It is the same IP address here. Cool. So now I click on the OK button. OK. Yeah. It did accept the website via local hot here. You can access it via IP. Yeah. It displaying the same. Cool. So now here I went back to my Windows PC and here is the version of the window I'm using is Windows Server. Yeah? Windows Server. Okay. And I back to my PC and here the PC I'm using is Windows 10. Okay. I open the web browser on my PC and trying to access to the website on the server via the IP address yeah. it is connecting to the server but um, because it is taking, taking a lot of time here to connect to the server so the site cannot be connected okay so here I will cancel this one and back to the server I will open the click on start button and open the firewall. Yeah, I type in the firewall and I can see the result in Windows firewall with advanced security. Open this one. Okay, so after that, it will open the Windows firewall with advanced security feature here. And on the left panel, we have 
the inbound rule and outbound rule. I'm going to have to click on inbound rule. Okay. So now here on the right hand, I have the action inbound rule. I go ahead to click on news rule. Okay. So here it will open up a dialog for creating new inbound rule. Why just? Okay. What type of rule would you like to create? For in this step, I will select the option number two, import. Yeah. I click on next button. Yeah. So here, does the rule apply to TCP or UDP? I will select the TCP as a default option. Okay. So here, does this rule apply on to own ports or specific local port? You shouldn't select the own local port. You should specify what port will be apply the rule. Okay. So here, because we are using the the default default website of the of the IIS. So here. The default port for default website here will be 80. Okay. So now here, I will open this one and edit binding. If you are binding another post, you can update here. Okay. Cancel. Close. Okay. So now here, I will provide the uh, local port is 80. After that, click on next button to go to another step. Okay, keep it one by default. Next button. When does it rule apply? Okay, I will select all of the option here by default. Yeah. So the last step, you have to provide the name for this rule. Okay, I will enter it here. Um, open. Open pot. For connecting to website via IP. Okay, fill it. Okay, so you see here the new rule for open post for connection to website via IP have been created. Okay, so now here I went back to my the window PC. And after that, I trying to refresh this one. Okay, cool. So now here, after I refresh this IP address, URL on my PC, so it will be displaying the default in Internet Information Services from my Windows ser Server. Okay, cool. So now back to the Windows Server. And I close this one. Open the my computer. Yeah. So here, after you install the Internet Information Services on the Windows PC, it will create a folder name is the INET pub. Yeah. In the www w root, we have this is the default page of the, and this is default folder of the uh, Internet Information Services page. Okay. I will create new testing page here. Okay. I will change it to option folder. I want to see the extension of the file. Yeah. So now I, I will change this one to the HTML. HTML. Change that. Okay. I will open this one in the notepad. Hello. One from CNVS. Okay. So now here I will back to my website and access to the chain that dot html. Yeah. So you see here I can access to the new file created and the message will be displaying on the website here. Okay, cool. So I think that's all. And after you finish this video, you know how to do some of the configuration in the Internet Information Services and in also in the firewall to open port for another PC accessing to the, 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 the website hosting in IS on the server. 
Okay, I hope that video will be helpful for you. And let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later.